Hi guys, welcome back to Knife Mania. Now I I made a serious subject um, uh, regarding Texas, my last video, and I'm glad to hear they're doing better. I'm glad to hear that most of them have their power back on. That they're thawing out. <laughs> that they're thawing out, yeah. Just as we are, we went from negative 20 degrees to like 46 degrees today. Um, welcome to Michigan. That old saying, wait 10 minutes and the weather changes, is, it, it really happens. <clears throat> now the missus is sitting right next to me, holding baby girl. But I want to talk to you about something very serious and something that her and I, especially with baby girl being in the house, especially being a toddler, really sit down and have a conversation about. Um, she she has her pistols and stuff like that that she uses for home defense. In Michigan, there is, quote unquote, a castle Yay. law. <laughs> now, with that being said, I get it. I believe every American has the right to defend the people they love, your home, your land. That's your right as an American citizen. Well, it should be. But I'm not here to criticize the government. I'm not here to criticize all the other bull BS. But I started thinking, what if baby girl were to get a hold of a firearm? Oh, what if she know. were to get a hold of one of my knives? What if she was... You know, you hear it on the news, everything else, and I'm a first-time toddler father, let's say, okay? Um, I'm, I'm being real with you guys. This is a true heart-to-heart -heart here on, on video. Um, and then I also started thinking, you know, what if it's just some poor dumb kid, you know, who breaks in the house? You, you, you really don't... You know, t taking the life of another man when it's well deserved doesn't weigh on my conscience. Not one bit. Not at all. Even a woman, if it's well deserved. But a kid? What if she got a hold of something and something were to happen? You know, this is something parents seriously should sit down and, as a couple, sit down and think and actually talk about especially when your children are at that age um and then especially when you have children of your own or if you raise children you, you seriously think <laughs> man you know i did a lot of dumb stuff when i was a kid i broke into a building uh abandoned buildings everything else uh in and out of trouble when i was a kid was that your teeth? <laughs> the missus just got headbutted by the baby girl. <laughs> so, anyway, I started thinking. You know, in Europe and Australia, places like that, guns are really outlawed. So I started looking at their laws. I started looking at what their people are allowed to do. The whole nine yards. And, um... Well, needs to say, I bought some. And we're actually, what, we're going to buy the side-by-side -side next? Yes. Um, and I'll get to this. I'll get to this. Now, Umarex is a very well-known uh, BB gun company. They sell their products worldwide. They sell it. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't even know where they're from. Okay? I think they're European. Might be American, but either way, they make really good products. So I did my research, everything else. We were originally going to buy the Umarex side-by-side CO2 shotgun. Fires a uh, .68 caliber uh, rubber ball, Teflon ball, or pepper ball. And after doing the reviews and everything else, you got to remember, I live in a trailer, so it's very short distance. That would be awesome. 
so we started doing a little more research and we came across the uh, Umarex TR50 and here in America they sell these as a 50 caliber paintball or rubber ball uh, firearm okay overseas uh, well overseas I shouldn't say that you know yeah it you guys over there in the UK, you're you're basically our relatives, so I shouldn't say that. But across the pond, let's say that across the pond, they're sold as home defense uh, weapons. So we start talking everything else. The side by side only has two shots. You can fire both barrels at once, or left and then right, or right and then left. Um. There's different modifications that you can make to them, which are 100% legal, legal because they're reversible. The whole nine. But there's all kinds of research that we did when we started looking at it. Hi, buggers. Jeez. So, what we decided on on the first one. Well, you can come here. This is the main reason why we did this. <laughs> um, I'm trying to hold it up here. I'll give you the box. Umarex TR50. Um, it says T4E training for engagement at whatever. You know, whatever. It's a CO2 revolver pistol, is what it is. Um, I bought a pack. These are the clean ones. The, oh, that's the Allen wrench, which I need to show them. These are the dirty ones, or the ones I've already fired. You know, I, I like to keep them separate. Uh, I can tell you, at least here in the trailer, turns out my slingshot target is just barely strong enough to take the hits. Um, so, <laughs> uh, I did shoot it a few times. In fact, I even got shot with it. Boogers. Because he asked. No, I, I, I firmly believe, like the cops here in the United States, the cops here in the United States, if they're going to carry a taser or a less lethal weapon, they actually have to get hit by it so they know. And I'm one of those people who 100% agree with that. So I will show you the projectiles. Well, one of them, you don't need to see all oh, hundred of them. If I could get the damn Ziploc open. It is a 50 cal. In other words, it's a half an inch rubber ball. You can kind of squeeze them. And I'll show you what it looks like in a cylinder. It kind of feels like your old rubber bouncy balls. Kind of, but a lot smaller. This is what it looks like Oh, that's the wrong side. But this is the side that's facing the barrel, so this is the side that's coming out. Okay? For those of you who don't understand how this works, this is the other side. Now, it came with five, and I ordered two more of these. Now, the pistol did not come with this. For anyone who's looking for something like this, this is an Olight. It's uh, the Many Valkyrie. I'm trying to get it to focus for you guys. Okay, there is a cylinder in there. It is loaded, but I'm not worried about it, and I'll, I'll show you guys why. Okay, take that out. Even with it in. This is one thing that sold me on these. Right? There is CO2 in here. But, I will take the CO2 out and show you. This is why I need the Allen wrench. It has not been punctured yet. You load these upside down. Here, if I can show you better. This way, 
into the handle. When you screw this back on, if you look real close, see how that punctures in? You can screw this all the way in tight. You see the old ring here, it's green. Wrong finger, sorry guys, not trying to flip you off. But you screw that all the way in there, right? You put your CO2 in, upside down, to where the nipple, the pressure side, is facing the bottom of the handle. Put that back in there. Now I'm not actually going to charge it because I'm almost out of CO2. Otherwise I would. We kind of had fun with it last night. Just a little bit. <laughs> Including her shooting me with it. And it dropped me to my knees. But then what you do, remember I showed you that punchers in. You smack the bottom one of this and what it does, and you don't have to hit it hard. You know, you got to hit it aggressively. But then pressurize the whole cylinder in here, which the CO2 cartridge is in, and then pressurize the system so then you can fire. So you can keep a CO2 in there. You can keep a fully loaded cylinder. And it won't go off until you smack that. Where's my old light? There it is. So to me, that's a hell of a lot safer. And no, I'm not worried about using cuss words in this one because this is my family we're talking about. To where if she were to, and now this stays in the bedroom, it stays out of her reach, the whole nine yards. You know, I do everything other than lock this in a safe to keep her away from it. I keep two loaded cylinders and an extra CO2, which if... I have to reload that's going to be a problem but hopefully I don't right next to my bed um, I can tell you I'm not gonna take my shirt off or anything I'm a fat guy guys come on I'm fat and I'm hairy I'm not taking my shirt off for you but <laughs> thanks as the missus is over here damn it I'm a fat guy and I'm hairy. We'll just leave it at that. But, uh, again, going back to that principle, I wanted to see what happens when you get hit. Um, yes, it does break skin. Um, for any old, old school paintballers out there, when your markers would jump from 280 to like 310, and then whatever, and then you always had that one cornhole friend that would freeze paintballs. Take that and multiply it by 410 feet per second. Actually, I had it judging by everything. It's it's shooting about 400 feet per second. So, on top of that, it's a smaller diameter. And it's a lot more solid. <laughs> Needless to say, it uh, it took me to my knees for a second. Um, one hit. They might stop and think about it. Second hint, they're going to give up. Especially if it's to the face, to the groin, to a tender area in the uh, legs. Arms even. Arms, or if it's a female. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> I'm aiming for them. <laughs> um, as far as shooting here, uh, I shoot my slingshots in here. I got about a 15, 20 foot distance down the hallway that I can shoot. Obviously, it's all blocked off by curtains, and uh, the target I built is really all kinds well built. Of and, yeah. Uh, and actually, I even put a door. I took the door off. We took the door off of what was it? Her closet? Yeah, we had to. We took the door off her closet, and then I put it up over here by where the doorway is, right there. The block this whole area off from me shooting this down the hallway because I was so paranoid of ricochet and everything else. You know, what if I miss? What if it's not that accurate? You're not going to miss. It is very accurate. Um, very. At least at those distances, yeah. which for a home protection device, it's awesome. Now, here in Michigan, I don't know if we're legally allowed to get the pepper balls. We're going to try. I, I don't know what we got to do to get them, if, you know, whatever. 
But we are going to try to get the pepper balls, but I will tell you this much. These things suck. <laughs> um, like I said, it broke skin. It definitely dropped me to my knees. Um, it's got a decent welt and bruise now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Paintball doesn't... No. <laughs> Not fun. So, uh, if you guys are looking for a different ultimatum other than using alternative... alternative other than using, you know, firearms, um, or knives, or axes, or even <laughs> my sp special forces shovel. Uh, uh -huh. That would be brilliant. Anyway, sorry, my demented side came out for a second. Um, yeah, no, look into something like this. Uh, it's a lot safer for your home. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to tell the missus, you know, unload your pistol and this and that and that and this. No, because if something gets through me, it's just her and the baby left. <laughs> Take care of business. <laughs> Plain, simple, period. <laughs> Take care of business. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, it definitely works. It's very accurate. Um... What I get about sixty shots out of CO two. I think so. But after the first forty, your velocity starts dropping rapidly. It just uh, for your information on that one. And the shot I took was actually after the second cylinder, which is six shots. And I think I loaded you up with four, and she hit me on the first shot. So. <laughs> It, 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 it was not fun. <laughs> so anyway, guys, uh, Umarex, um, yeah, the TR-50, CO2, uh, T-40E, whatever you want to look, look it up by. I'm holding it up here for a while so you guys can see it. Um, if you're interested in something like that. So, well worth money. Yeah, and this thing only goes for a hundred bucks on Amazon. A hundred bucks. So yeah, the Olight. Well, we got the Olight separately. Ooh, yeah. By the way, if you guys are wondering about how bright an Olight is, eep. <laughs> so there you guys go. CO two, rubber rounds. Very accurate. Uh, actually, Thursday, I'm going to buy some different uh, nail polish. Uh, my old lady's a goth or something. I don't know. But, <laughs> hey. hi, baby girl. <laughs> What's she telling on you? I'm going to paint, paint the back with a bright uh, metallic reflective green and the front <laughs> sight with a white. Because those sights, even with a bright light... Do it over here. You know, it's it'll be easier to pick up. But anyway, guys, that's a new one for you guys. Give you one last look. Keeping it facing up because they are on this side of me. And again, I think this is something, you know... You, your significant other, your family, whoever you live with. I mean, literally, sit down and have a legitimate talk about it. I'm not saying get rid of your firearms. Absolutely not. It is your Second Amendment. Fight that to the... T I mean, fight it. But, but, you gotta ask yourself. Some dumb kid comes in and you waste a kid. How would you feel about it? Your young ones accidentally get a hold of something. I know no parent wants that. No parent even dreams of that. Um, <laughs> it's kind of one of those situations. I'd rather be safe than sorry. So, yeah. Some food for thought. This is something I like. She likes. She shot it. She shot me. I asked her to. So before you blow up the comments about it, I asked her to do it. And uh, we're actually definitely going to get at least either another one of these 
or the side by side. That way I can get the bigger pepper balls if they're legal here in the, uh, Michigan. So, again, always follow your uh, legal rights. Stay within them. Do what you can, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I was trying to just say, guys. Why are you whining? She's tired and she's got molars coming in. More molars. Ugh. We haven't slept in like two days, guys. Sorry. So, anyway. Until next time. Oh! Since this is Knife Mania. Oh, and speaking of Olights. That's an Olight. My EDC is an Olight. We carry several Olights. The missus carries a... Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, I3T. I carry the I5T in purple. I just thought it was cool. Oh, yeah. What's this one? The SWAR... SR or S1 Baton 2. If I can remember how to work. Yep. But she carries this little dinky thing. But it's awesome. And rechargeable. Rechargeable. They come with these cool little magnet things you just slap on there and it charges. Now the I5T, which is this one. And the i3T and a couple other ones, like the keychain ones. Like, I got a keychain one on my keychain. I'll grab it real quick. Why not while we're here? <clears throat> what is this one? The i3E. They take batteries. You know, they're just really handy little flashlights on your keychain. I also got... She lost mine. Oh, she lost yours? Not the little one on the keychain, but the other. The I3T? Pocket one. The pocket one. The one that takes the AAA. Okay. Damn it. She <laughs> lost it. Anyway, but uh, check out Olight. Incredibly resilient. Um, again, for those of you who don't know, I'm a welder fabricator. I'm always either in the air, underground, crawling, uh, messing around with obviously steel, being a welder fabricator. So. Check out Olight. Uh, my honest opinion, and I've owned a few. I hate to say it, but oh, they're better than Streamlight. I said it, and my it's my opinion, and I've owned both. But check those out. And as for Spyderco, still going good. She's got all kinds of goop all over her from work. Still really sharp. Oh yeah, still catching the fingernail. Could use a cleaning though. <laughs> but since it is knife mania, that's what's up. It's what I got in my pocket. So, all right, guys. Again, all my material, everything I put on YouTube is food for thought. You know, I I, I definitely know my knives and knife metals and everything else. Um. Air guns is something kind of new to me, unless you're talking airsoft or old school paintball. I'm, when I say old school paintball, I'm talking 10 years ago. <laughs> so, actually, wow, even longer than that, about 15 years ago. I quit playing when I was 22, so that's 10, 13, 14. 14 years ago was the last game of paintball I actually really played. Now, I played plenty of airsoft. But. So, anyway, guys, there you go. The Umarex TR-50. We're using it for home defense. Gives you guys a different idea, a different concept. If this is something that's weighing on your mind, um, you know, approach your family. And I'm serious, have a for real sit down talk and figure out if it's the right thing for you. And even if it's not the right thing for you for home defense, it's still a fun little bugger to shoot. I can tell you that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Food for thought, again, 100 bucks. You get the pistol itself. You get five cylinders. I ordered two more cylinders, which should be here tomorrow. 
Um, I ordered an extra 100 rounds uh, of the rubber balls. And we're going to do some checking and see if the pepper balls come in. And here's the deal. I didn't even talk this over with the missus. If I reach 200 subscribers by July, I will let the missus shoot me with a pepper ball. If they're legal. <laughs> so stay tuned. If they're legal, I will let her shoot me with a pepper ball. Oh, God, that's going to suck. I've been hit with mace and everything else. I've been tased. But pepper balls are the worst. I swear they are. Oh. But I said it. I can't back out. So, we got some checking to do. If we can get them, we'll do it. If I reach 200 and if, if it's legal. If it's not, well then, well, maybe I'll just let her shoot me again with one of these rubber balls. I don't know. And film it. Alright. So, anyway, guys. As always, be safe, keep your knife sharp, keep your fingers out of the way. Alright, later guys.